guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So today I'm finally doing a full apartment tour. I'm gonna show you what $1,500 gets you in New York City. I have a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment in the city that never sleeps. But before we get into that, I want to thank Fracture Glass Prints for sponsoring today's video. They're having an awesome sale right now. You can head over and get your glass prints. You can use my code MONROE25, all capital letters, for 25% off until October the 5th. Make sure you check those out. I'm also going to show you guys all of my fractured glass prints that I have incorporated around my apartment. So without further ado, let's get into my apartment tour. So this is what it looks like when you enter my apartment. There is a long hallway here, and then we're gonna go off to the left of me, which is my little foyer area. And I did a full video showing you guys how I transformed this area. It used to be so dark and dank, and I did a little foyer update with a Moroccan theme. I do have a full video on that that I will link below, but this rug is from Wayfair. So it's this little poof here and this console that I built. I used to have a live plant here, but of course this area doesn't get a, enough light and so it died. And so I invested in a new plant. This one is from Target and it is a faux plant. I will link this plant down below. Of course, you guys know I love a good vase. This one is from Crate and Barrel. If it's still available, I will link it down below, or you can just head to the foyer update video for links to all of these things. So as I stated earlier, this video is sponsored by Fractured Glass Prints. So I wanted to show you guys my glass prints. These are photos that I took at Scarabio Camp in Marrakesh, Morocco. And I have them printed on glass to put here in my foyer just to give it that Moroccan feel. The quality of the fractured glass prints is stunning. They come packaged really well. You can see that in my foyer update video where I unpackage them and how great they come packaged. They are currently having a sale, so if you are interested, check out the link below. You can also use my code MONROE25, all capital letters, for 25% off until October 5th. And if you're interested in my favorite candles, these are a few of them. I love the over rose candles. I mean, they smell amazing. I love this pink color as well. This is probably one of my favorite candles from Diptyque and the Barreto Bohemia. These are my three favorite candle brands and my three favorite scents. So if you're interested, I will link them down below for you guys. use these little boxes for storage <laughs> I get so many skincare and beauty products from brands that this is where I store them until I have a chance to actually use them <laughs> and so I can report back to you guys on how everything works so that is the foyer off to the left when you first walk in I also have a little closet here. It's a coat closet. I also keep my little basket for shopping in there as well because that's how you do things here in New York City. Here I have my little yoga mat. This is the one I've been using for this week. I usually change every other day. And now we're gonna come into my bathroom. So my bathroom is quite small. It's big enough for me, but it is quite small. And so I really wanted to make it nice light and bright and so when i did my bathroom update i actually changed the curtains out to white curtains and even though they are white they let in a decent amount of light which i like but they kind of hide all the things that i have back there which is great 
I have a few of my boxes here from Chanel. This is what my cotton wipes come in. So if you want a really nice Chanel box, just order these cotton wipes from Chanel. I love these cotton wipes, by the way. I use them for my face. And then you'll get a nice little box. I'll put a link down to them below. And remember, if you do use my links to purchase anything, I do get a small commission from the brand and that does help me a lot as a content creator. Now, when I did my bathroom update, I got this whole like little rack from, I think I got it from Wayfair. If you want to know any information about what's in this bathroom and links to everything, if you can't find it below in the description box, just check out my bathroom decor update video. I will link that down below. I have some pompous here and I know someone is gonna ask about my pompous. If you're interested, I got it from Etsy. I have linked it down below along with the height and how many stems I bought to get this type of fullness. And this little vase here is from Target. These towels along with this bath mat I got from H&M Home. And I just love that rose color. And of course, here in the bathroom, we also brought in some fracture glass prints from my travels to Morocco. All of these photos are also from Scarabio Camp in Marrakesh, where you can set up in a tent and dine under the stars and sleep in a tent and ride camels. It was like one of the best trips ever. I love how those muted tones of the earth play on the pinks and the colors in this room. And this is my new shower curtain. I picked this up from Target. Again, kind of sticking with that Moroccan-esque theme, very kind of minimal. And I just love how it looks. It has a linen feel to it with that gray and the fringe at the bottom. This is a new thing. And some of you have already asked me about this because I've never actually told you guys where I got this over the door caddy from. This is actually from Urban Outfitters. I think it comes in two colors and I just needed some more space for my beauty products and it's absolutely perfect. I have all of my beauty products here, all of my Elemis products. You guys know I'm an Elemis ambassador. All of my vegan Ryle beauty products, love them as well. My Billy products for shaving, my scrubs and everything, and then I just have my towels here as well. And this just worked out so perfectly because I don't have enough space for storage in my bathroom. from Wayfair as well. And I've always wanted one, it's amazing. And so really happy to have it. My faux Monstera leaves are from Target. And that is pretty much it for this room. I do have an Amazon Echo Dot in this room so that I can jot down ideas. I can listen to music. I can listen to podcasts. I can know the weather and all sorts of other things. This is a mess in here, guys. It's like all my beauty stuff. So we're just gonna pretend like that doesn't exist. So that is the bathroom. And now we're gonna come over into my bedroom. Now, if you're interested in anything you see in my bedroom, I did a full bedroom update makeover video. Definitely check that video out if something is not linked down below. I have linked that video down for you all. This is a white bird of paradise plant that I got from Wayfair when they were delivering live plants. I'm not sure if they still are, but it's a wonderful plant, just needs a little bit of sunlight. I had one of my photos from my trip to Bermuda blown up there. And I just love the colors. I feel like it meshes really well with the rest of the room. This desk is from Wayfair. I built it myself. 
actually is it from Wayfair or is it from Overstock? I can't quite remember but I will link it below. And then I have this little artwork from H&M. I love to keep a lot of my boxes because I actually store things in them, my candle boxes and such. Another Chanel box. And then I have these beautiful faux flowers here from The Million Roses. They last for a full year. A nice little Dior book from The Boutique. And one of my favorite books of all time, Brown Bohemians. I'm really into black coffee table books. So if you wanna know some of my favorite coffee table books, I will link them down below. This little bowl is from Crate and Barrel. And then this mirror I also got from Wayfair. So one of my favorite things about this room is this little nook area. This is basically my beauty area where I sit and I put on my lotions and my tonics. Sometimes I'll read, but this is a beautiful chair. It's velvet. This is also from Wayfair and it comes in a ton of different colors. Another of my favorite things in this room is this faux hide rug. I love that it's gray. It has hints of white and brown, which just is what I'm going for when it comes to color scheme. And I layered it over top this white shag rug from Wayfair. My bed is from Zinus. It was actually a gift and it was super easy to build. If you wanna see me build it, make sure to check out that bedroom decor update video. And this here is actually a weighted blanket. I love this blanket, it's 15 pounds and you just put it on you and it feels like a hug. All of the artwork in here is from Wayfair and I have linked it all below if you're interested. This beautiful lamp is also from Wayfair. I just love how this looks when you turn it on, the way it just spreads the light in the room is stunning. And I just have a little basket here with a little throw also from Wayfair. The basket is from H&M Home. I built this little nightstand myself and so I'm really proud of it. This is from H&M. I have a few of my favorite Porter magazines here. And of course, my all time favorite, Amazon Echo Show. I love this thing. It does everything. I can watch TV on it. I can watch YouTube on it. I can video chat with my family. I can find out the weather, just every single thing. I love this thing. It's super loud too. The whole back of it is a speaker. If you're interested in the Amazon Echo Show, I will link them down below. They also have smaller versions and I will show you that because I have one in my office. All right, so let's check out the rest of my two bedroom, one bath apartment. I love these little masks. My mom actually got these from Ghana when she was a nursing student over there. And we're gonna head into my office, which is my office slash closet. Get it, office. I've done so many posts on this closet. I have a full video showing how I organize it. I also have a full video showing it being built and giving you all the details about it. This is an Ikea Pax wardrobe that I put together myself. I went to Ikea, I built it with a specialist and then I bought it. The next day they came with all the pieces and they put it together. And yes, this is able to be transferred. I mean, it's a little delicate, but you can take it apart and put it back together again, or just transfer the large pieces. 
So this is where I store all of my shoes, all of my boots. By the way, if you're wondering how I get my boots to stand up like this, it's just tissue paper inside of my boots. All of my jeans are down here. All of my hanging dresses, skirts and pants are here. And then up top, I have all of my boxes filled with things that I'm not actually wearing or using right now. Definitely check out that video if you wanna see how I organize my Ikea pack system. I have linked everything down below. Now my favorite part about this is that I have these rollout shelving units, which makes it super easy. I also love that I can pull out my jewelry trays. And a lot of people ask where I get this tray. This tray is actually part of the Ikea pack system. Literally, I can pull it out and put it in. If you are interested in my jewelry collection, I have a full video on my jewelry. I will link it down below. But for starters, these are my favorites, my Louis Vuittons and my Chanel dangles. Also, usually it's much neater, but I just got finished with a shoot. I also get asked a lot about my perfumes. My favorites are Byredo, Ball d'Afrique. It's probably my number one favorite, followed by Maison Francis, Baccarat, Rouge 540. I also really love La Labo, Santal 33. Lalabo Vanille 44, which is only sold during the month of September in New York City. Any other time, you can only get it in Paris. And I've had it since 07, so I'm due to refill this bottle. I also really love Balenciaga B by Balenciaga. This is the only fragrance that Alexander Wayne ever made while he was at Balenciaga. I also really like the NARS perfume as well. It smells really kind of masculine and good. And I get asked about this vase so much, or boss, if you're fancy. This is Anissa Kermichi, and if they are available, I will link them down below. Filled it with some faux flowers from Target. And you would have seen that in the video before this one, I think. So if you're interested, check that video out. also have a little vision board over here or a mood board it's time for me to redo it for the fall season this is summer the rug is from Wayfair the table and chair is from Amazon I love this ergonomic chair I featured it in a video as well as on Instagram and so many of you bought this chair and told me that you love it. It's a really great chair. And I just love that it's black and white so it fits the theme of this room. And then the desk is also black and white from Amazon. And I love that it has this little pocket here that I can store things in. Here is a look at my desk. This little board to kind of hold up my laptop is from Urban Outfitters and it is amazing, especially if your laptop gets really hot and you don't want it to burn you. It has this little pad there that's great to sit on your lap and then it's kind of diagonal. This was in my things you need to survive quarantine video. So if you're into like electronics and things like that, things that I really like, definitely check out that video. Here is the Amazon Echo Dot, the smaller one. Again, I can watch TV on this, I can watch YouTube, I can have it play music for me, have it do reminders for me, so definitely love that. And this is new actually. I just got this HP wireless printer and I really needed one for my business. So here is the opposite end of my clothes. Love this little bag. My girl Vanna Vane just sent this over to me. She also makes t-shirts with this, black and white t-shirts. So make sure to check out Vanna Vane. And here I usually just hang things that I wanna shoot or wear. And then this is my dress form. I've had this for several years. I got it from eBay. 
someone sold it to me. And it's just a vintage dress form that I put this Alexa Chung cardigan over. This necklace was a buy from the Brooklyn Flea Market. It is vintage. And I just have some artwork here. And of course, another fractured glass print. This is one of my favorite pictures of all time. I had to get it printed on glass and displayed in my office for inspiration. And just in case you're wondering, this is a huge closet in here that goes from the end of this wall to the end of that wall. So I have tons of clothes in there. The only clothes are not just hanging here in my closet. So I have tons more clothes than this. I have two full closets in my bedroom as well. All right, so now we're gonna go into my kitchen. It's a very basic kitchen. I recently updated the floors with floor pop stick-on tiles. Definitely check out that video if you're interested on floor pops or tiles to change your floors or even the backsplashes for your walls. And loving these pans from our place. I may have a coupon code for 10% off for you guys if you're interested in these Our Place non-stick pans that are just super chic. I love that matte finish. Of course, if you've been following me for a while, you know that this is my boyfriend. My Nespresso Virtual Plus line coffee maker. Absolutely love it. I keep all of my pods here in this little glass jar. Right now, I have a lot of Hazelino, which is my favorite. I also have the new pumpkin. Pumpkin spice cake, you guys. It is pumpkin spice season. I've also been enjoying some tea, English breakfast tea. Now I get a lot of questions about <laughs> this porcelain cup and it is from Crate and Barrel. They have some really cool cups. So if you're interested in these, if you like the color, if you like the aesthetic, I will link it down below. I also get asked about this, <laughs> this cup a lot as well. This is also from CB2, one of my favorite cups or mugs. And I will link this down below if you are interested. So not much going on with the kitchen, not too much that I can change being that this is a rental, but just changing the floors. I also got a new refrigerator and microwave, really kind of spruced it up a bit. I'm also loving this fruit bowl, which right now is full of napkins. <laughs> I got this from Target. And I just think it's such cute quality. I need to go to the grocery store and get some fruit so I can fill it. So now we're gonna come into the dining area. I get asked about this wall decal a lot. I've had this for about eight years on this wall. The secret to having it all is knowing you already do. It was a peel and stick from Marshalls. I doubt they still have it, but just search wall decals online. I'm sure you can find them. So we are entering the dining area. If you're interested in anything you see, check out my apartment decor update video in the description box. I have literally linked every single thing. This is another wall decal from Marshalls. This vase here is from, I think it's from Crate and Barrel as well. Beautiful vase. This is another bird of paradise plant. Her name is Luna. She used to reside here next to the mirror, but she started coming out into the walkway. So I had to move her, but she's actually thriving here. This is another faux cowhide rug from Wayfair. I have the exact same rug in my bedroom. This white lacquer table is from Walmart. And the chairs that are pink velvet are from Wayfair. And I built all of these myself. 
This is actually my favorite candle of all time and it is the Fig Candle by Diptyque. And I also have some of those Never Gonna Die roses. I'm also really proud of my coasters, which are also from Wayfair. I feel like they have all of the colors that I plan my home decor update around. Lots of grays, lots of whites, lots of kind of pinky nudes, and it just works. to my living area I get tons of questions about this mirror this mirror is from Ikea I'm not sure if they still have it but it's a really good mirror I do a lot of outfit posts in this mirror next to it I have a photo from Cuba that was taken by my good friend Langry who resides in Bermuda I have these little floating shelves from the container store and one of my favorite reed sticks from PF Candle Co. This is the teak wood and tobacco and it smells amazing. Another thing I get asked about a lot is this bookshelf and I got this bookshelf from Amazon. I built it myself and I outfitted it in a ton of like my favorite classic magazines like this vibe that Obama is on, this Vogue that Rihanna is on. I have a ton of Porter magazines and some of my favorite books, as well as Kinfolk magazines, which is probably my favorite magazine right now. I have another Amazon Echo Dot here. I can call my mom on it. It can give me reminders. I have it turn on the lights. I have it turn on the TV. I have it turn on my fans. It does everything. It's amazing. Here's another of my favorite books. And little knickknacks here. I have a little globe. You guys, how many of us have these? If you have one of these New York Times newspapers from when Obama, like you guys, let me know down in the comments. Give me a hands up emoji. I have some marble bookends with my favorite three Kim Folk books, Kim Folk Table, Entrepreneur, and Home. Great for home decor ideas. Great if you are an entrepreneur. Great if you love to cook. These are a few of my favorite books. James Baldwin, The Book of Night Women by Marlon James, one of my favorites of all time. So good. Here I have my fashion books. You all know I'm a Francophile, so I have a lot of Eiffel Towers and Paris memorabilia around my house. This is a little, I guess, ceramic from H&M Home. A few more of my favorite books. And this photo of me here is from my time in Cuba, trying my first Cuban cigar. It was not very good and I haven't done it since. <laughs> and just in case you don't know, I do have a magazine. It's called Steel Magazine. It comes out once a year. And this was our first print issue we are currently sold out but if you want to read the digital issue there's a link to it down below now let's get into my plant because i get a lot of questions about this huge white bird of paradise plant so her name is amelia she is a white bird of paradise when i first got her she was teeny tiny okay it took me three years to grow her this big i didn't use anything special just plain old potting soil the miracle Grow potting soil and water. I spray her leaves every other day. I water her every other day with however much water she needs. She likes to have a damp soil. She likes a ton of sunlight and she needs a big pot because she has huge roots. And that's pretty much it for the white bird of paradise. But she's stunning. So I have another clear shelf here holding one of my instant cameras, a candle, 
and a little succulent and another print of me in Bermuda. I like putting prints of my travels around the house because it just makes me feel like I'm on vacation and not stuck in quarantine. This is a new clock. I picked this up from Amazon as well. I just love the white and black theme. So coming into the living room area, my couch is from Ikea. This little throw is from Oak and Fort. My pillows are from Wayfair. And all of the links to all of these can be found in my apartment decor video description box. This white rug is the same as the one in my room. White shag rug from Wayfair. This coffee table, which is my favorite because I love that it has the little magazine and book leather hold there. This is also from Wayfair, but they have this in a ton of places online and I will link them down below. A few more of my favorite coffee table books, Supreme Models, Iconic Black Women Who Revolutionized Fashion, as well as The New Black Vanguard. If you're looking for black coffee table books, I've linked my favorites down below. This little Lucite tray is from CB2, and I just put that there. Faux Orchid is from Target, and then we have my TV console. I can't actually remember where I got the TV console, but it is in the apartment decor video. Every fashion girl has to have a Tom Ford <laughs> book. And this is my new Vizio TV. Make sure you are subscribed, guys. Love to see it, the subscribers. This is my Facebook portal. I can talk to my family and friends via video with this. It's pretty cool. This little basket here is from Wayfair and I filled it with a few of my favorite blankets since it's about to be fall. It's getting a little cooler. This Cognac faux leather chair, also Wayfair. The side table is from Crate and Barrel. It's actually a cement block that I put on top of this light. <laughs> and the light is also from Wayfair. I really got a ton of things from Wayfair when I did my update. That was months ago, so I know there's controversy with them. So please don't bother leaving it in my comments. Since then, I don't really shop at Wayfair. I do have a lot of Paris memorabilia because I love Paris. But here is my little nook. It's one of my favorite areas. It gets amazing light. This chair, I think I got it from Amazon. Again, if you're really into the pompous, I got this from Etsy. And this is from CB2, the little vase there. The rug is from, I think, Rugs USA. I get so many questions about this throw and this is from Wayfair. It's actually not a knit, so it's never going to like fray, which is great, but it's still really comfy. And then underneath is just a little chest that I got from Target where I store tons of like workout weights and things. I do get a ton of questions asking me if I play guitar. I do play a few songs self-taught. No, I will never play for any of you. That's just something that I say for me. Now up here, we have another fracture glass print. I feel like this is the modern day version of this, my Nefertiti bust. But this was a photo that I took while in Tulum for my birthday last year. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my apartment tour and special thank you to Fractured Glass Prints for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out their sale and also to use my code Monroe25 all capital letters for 25% off until October 5th for your fractured glass prints. 
go ahead and print up some of your favorite vacation photos put them around your house makes you feel like you're on vacation anytime if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video again thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.